Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC and today we're going to be installing a chilled water bypass feeder. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. So the previous bypass feeder has been taken out. They cut the pipe here, which is this cut. So it's one connection in and then it's out from the bottom. There's a threaded here and there's a connection underneath the tank. So let's get the new one in and get started. This is the bottom of the new tank and it's a threaded connection. So we're gonna put some Teflon tape and some Teflon paste on our threads and spin this on so then we can connect our next connection. Now we got this prepped and we're gonna spin this on so we get our first connection complete. Start spinning. On? Yep, spin. All right, we're there. All right, just hand tighten it. Hold up, go, nope. got this nicely spun on and now we're going to install our legs for support. Uh, we got our legs on, bottom connection is done but now we have to go from here to here and since this is threaded this is going to be too close and kind of too much of a risk. I could probably make it happen but I don't want to melt the Teflon tape by going through here so I think I'm going to spin this tank a little bit more and just re-pipe this out going this way. Let it come out and go, go all the way in and just kind of make things a little easier and safer for us. So I cut back on here. Let's get everything into configuration. So let's start with that. All right, so the bottom is piped in. We spun it around and I made my connections like this to go around. Very nicely done. So we're gonna solder our connections and of course over here, we're gonna use Teflon for our threaded connections. So the secret to make this work is we're gonna solder our connections. I would stay up to about here. So this is all solid. Then we can put our Teflon, spin this on, make sure it's tight so we don't have any flames here while the Teflon tape is there so we don't burn it. Once that's done, we can just continue to keep going. So from here, I just have to prep my pipe by sanding it down. The, all the connections are already sanded. We're gonna put soldering paste on the outside of our pipes and the inside of our fittings. And we're gonna use 95.5 with a map gas torch to fill in our connections. And let's get started with that. So from here, I can spin this off, put on my Teflon tape, spin that back on and continue making my connections. This is now complete. We don't have to worry about melting the Teflon tape. And now we could just finish soldering our connections here.
here I'm just gonna use this mirror and make sure I got around all my joints double check everything make sure everything's all right and whatever I feel like I didn't get well I kind of would just like go over it again but for the most part you know usually pretty good with this so let's see all right so we got this cap we need to make sure we close onto here so we're just gonna tighten that down with the gasket inside and we also have a little pressure gauge right here all right this is it got this gauge back on going around and in everything's tightened we got the cap here we got about 110 pounds of pressure the water valves are open everything is ready to go we got no leaks everything looks absolutely fantastic everything is great from here we got some insulation we're just going to cover up the bare pipe because this is chilled water and it sweats so we don't want any water on the floor but everything here looks good we got pressure on both sides and we have no leaks this is absolutely fantastic if anybody found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you all next time